In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of data entry in Mobile Nation and specifically how to use uh, the data source accessor uh, to go along and insert records uh, into a data, data source, whether it be a SQL Server database or a static database. Um, so to get my example kicked off, I'm just going to create a very basic uh, guest book application. Um, it's going to consist of uh, two text fields and a submit button. But obviously when I submit, I want to show all the comments uh, in a table. So I'm just going to bring in one, one text field here and I'm just going to give it a placeholder of uh, name. I'm just going to name that name. I'll do likewise uh, for a comment. So, um, comment is my placeholder. Right, I'm also going to put in a button that says uh, submit comment. So what we want to do uh, when we hit that submit button is to actually uh, put the fields that I've entered there into some sort of data component. Um, so the data source I'm using at the moment is just going to be a static CSV file that I'm going to append uh, some information to. You can see it's just got two fields, name and comment. So I'm just going to upload that into the data sources repository now. And we can see that that's gone through. So uh, I don't actually have any data in at the moment. Uh, I'm actually going to feed that in uh, at runtime in my app. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And I'm just going to call it uh, guestbook comments. Right, so there's a, a data source inserted. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do uh, when we insert it is actually bring it to the data source. So I'm just going to... Um, bring that data source uh, into the app by putting in uh, a data accessor and hooking it up with guestbook comments. Right, so let's rig it up so that when I hit submit comment, um, I go along and I insert a record into this field. So if I hit insert data, you can see that there are two fields that have just gotten filled in. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is just populate the name and the comment um, with what I've got in these two text areas. So I'm going to get my name text and wire that through. And I'm going to do likewise with my comment text. Excellent. And once I've actually gone along and submitted the data, I'm also going to go along and refresh uh, the list of comments that are available. So I'll just go down to my data accessor. You can see there's an option to go along and fetch it. Now, <clears throat> let's uh, visualize the comments that we've just submitted uh, by putting them into a table view. So let's drag in a table view. Now all table views work um, from data accessors as well. So I'm just going to go to the attributes here and wire it up to my typical data accessor. Now I could go along and put in something like a name or a comment. What I'm actually going to put in here is an advanced field where I put the name up on the right hand side and I'll put the comment uh, down here on the left hand side. So that's all rigged up and obviously when we start the app uh, we want to show comments that people have already entered. So when I view loads We're also going to want to fetch the data. And that's already wired up to the table view. So let's see how that looks. Right, so I'm just going to put my name in here. And I'll submit my comment, and you can see that it's in my text area. Um, I'm going to make this one available as a template for you guys to have a play around with. Um, give me any comments or feedback. 
Um, and enjoy. <laughs>